people. Hey girl, hey, hey, yeah. This makeup tutorial is going to be good for if you happen to find out that you have MS, you have to go through chemo, you're broke, your bladder starts bleeding, um, you're lonely, you're put in a wheelchair, your birth mother is cyber stalking you, and, and um, if you really just kind of want to go to Walmart. So, um, this is what that one is about. So, let's get started. Now, I've got my little handy dandy mirror here because we all know that I am legally blind. So, I um, got some new products and this was sent to me by, I'm not sure who, because it was secret thing and it was a long time ago, I think before the chemo started or maybe after, um, but anyway. They sent me some dollar store um, products, and not all of it is from that, but um, a lot of it is. So I'm pretty excited and pretty grateful because, you know, when you go to the dollar store, sometimes it can add up, you know. But this is what we're doing. We want to look like we are um, a little sun-kissed because it is getting into fall, and we don't want to look totally drained of sun and I haven't been out in the sun a lot because of the chemo so um, we're just going to use um, this is just a couple shades darker so we're going to do this all over the face okay so you're going to blend that in and I would just use your hands because it's just on yourself it's not like you're doing a makeup show or anything but this is not too dark you know what I mean it's um, just a couple shades darker and you want to make sure you concentrate on your eyelids because that's very thin and um, blend that in and you want to make sure you blend and don't forget the ears okay oh somebody sent me a text message okay oh yeah make sure you blend that into the hairline because then you'll look really stupid and especially if you've had chemo and you're bald um, you want to go ahead and just go ahead and slick it back now remember the bronzing what we want to do is we're going to take the um, African American foundation and now this is much darker obviously so we're going to put that just in the sun kiss areas so we're going to just blend that just to make it a little bit better so it just looks like you've been kissed by the sun okay so because tan what does that mean money now the good thing about this look is um any blemishes you have are pretty covered up now wait First, I want to make sure, blend into your neck. You don't want to be that girl with the line. That's stupid. You don't want to look stupid. This is not to look stupid. This is to look like you're healthy. You want to look a little healthy when you're riding around in those strollers at Walmart. You know what I mean? Now, we're going to take the 1985 um, eyeshadow from my last tutorial. And we're going to use um, this brush. Now I've put the white on there because I like to start with the highlighting. I know everybody likes to start with the shading and all that stuff and the lid lines and all that, but I like to do the highlighting first. So we're just going to do that right underneath the eyebrow. And this is also good if you... Um, don't have time to wax your eyebrows or to pluck them you can cover it up with the white eyeshadow and it looks like you have had them done you're gonna want to do it in the corners of the eyes as well because that brightens up the eyes so we'll do that right there we're gonna pat that off because you know we only use one brush around here I don't know now I was thinking about you guys so purple lovers will love this okay so with the 1985 
eyeshadow and again why we're using the 85 is is it tends to be a little bit more sparkly so we're gonna get this purple and it is a darker purple I like to call it puke plum okay I don't know exactly what the color is because I'm blind and I can't see there are some kids outside fighting and I'm about to go out there with my makeup and just pimp slap all of them. Oh, I just got some in my eye. You're going to want to do the creases. Now, I'm going to do it in this color. I'm not sure if you can see that. I can't see because I'm blind. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that. So, creases, but we're going to really pack that on because you want to be able to see it too. Because, think about this. When you're going to the store and you're in a wheelchair or you're using one of those carts nobody's really gonna say anything about what you're wearing or what you're doing because they don't want to be the douchebag making fun of the person in the wheelchair that goes with the clothing hairstyle and everything when you're in a wheelchair nobody can say anything to you this is you're doing this look for you okay don't think about other people stop thinking about other people think about yourself for once this is for you okay and if you can't see you're gonna have to pack it on a little bit more so that way you can see how pretty you are nobody's gonna make fun of you because they don't want to be the douchebag making fun of the girl in the wheelchair but if they do you can't see it anyway so it doesn't matter eyelashes are very important they make your eyes pop and so make sure you put a like at least uh, I would say three to four layers I've got this dream mousse and it's for eyeshadow and it's for blush and for lips all in one so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a glob of that right there and we're going to rub that on our cheeks and then we're going to do our lips with it but that's going to act as an adhesive for our lips so you're going to take a glob of that and just rub it in rub it in i always do a swipe on the nose just so it accents it you know what i mean so you don't need that much on your lips though okay now once again this is for you. This isn't for everybody else. You need to think of you for once and do something for yourself. You're legally blind. You want to be able to see what what's going on on your face. And if it's not well defined, you can't see it. So that looks great. Now if you want to, just take some glitter and close your eyes and just do this. That's great. That's good because then that makes you sparkle. So if you want to do that, oh, yeah, I'd be okay with that. You know what I mean? And like I said, the um, glitter on your lips, if you tend to lick your lips, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, if you tend to lick your lips and stuff, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's not enough glitter to, you know, hurt you but it is enough to make your poop sparkle so it is a win-win